What's going on guys? Tmart here and today we got some Killzone Shadowfall gameplay on the PlayStation 4. So, uh, I've never really played a lot of Killzone before. I mean, I've played it at events and things, but I've never really played a lot of it, so I don't know a lot about it. I'm playing in, in a game mode where, it, like, the first round is like a domination type round. The second round is a search and destroy type round where you play either offense or defense, and then if you need to move on to a third round, then you play the other side of search and destroy. Like, if you played offense first, you play defense second. So, uh, it's kind of like a best of three. It's really cool. I like it. I'm fooling around with some classes, but this game, it's, it, it's really deep. Like, there's a lot of maps, there's a lot of weapons, there's a lot of classes and things, and, you know, being new to the Killzone series, it's a little bit overwhelming, so I will play more of it and bring you guys more in the future, but I just kind of want to bring you guys this gameplay to, to, to show you what the PS4 can do. You know, this game is very, very important for the PS4 because this is one of the only launch titles that wasn't developed for both systems, you know, both the current gen and the next gen systems. This was exclusively developed for the PlayStation 4, so, you know, when they were making this game, they were using all of the PS4's technology and all of its power, you know, all of the next-gen goodness that we're all looking forward to, so this is one of the better-looking games on the console at the moment. Now, the thing to keep in mind, and what's so crazy, is think back to, like, the PS3 and the Xbox 360, and the launch titles we have with those. Like, on PS3, we had, like, uh, Call of Duty 3, uh, Resistance, Fall of Man, Madden 07, like, things like that. And if you guys go back and look at the quality of those games, they were awful. And then look at what we have now, like Crisis 3 and, you know, Battlefield 4 and all kinds of stuff that's absolutely beautiful, even on current gen. Think about how that applies to this next gen. Like, think about how this technically what you're watching on screen right now, even though it's leaps and bounds above any console game we've ever seen so far, this is bad quality for what the PS4 can do. Like, once developers start to figure out how they can take better advantage of, you know, the, the kind of equipment and the technology in this system, they're gonna be able to make games that look way better than this even. So, uh, that's just, that's pretty crazy to me because I think this looks pretty good. It, it plays a little bit slow at times, but, but overall, I just, I really, really liked it. Like, I, I think I, I could see myself playing this game a lot. I'm gonna be doing a Let's Play on Team Martin 2, but I could see myself bringing you guys some videos from this every once in a while just because it's, uh, I don't know, like I said, it's really deep. There's a, a lot of different weapons and things you can use. It's just it's something that's so much different than, you know, the typical Call of Duty or Battlefield or whatever. It's just, a, it's a futuristic kind of, uh, you know, war fighter. And it actually does kind of remind me of Crisis and, and a little bit of Halo. You know, it's that futuristic setting with, like, deployable shields and all kinds of crazy explosives and you know all kinds of weapons and things like that so it's just it's uh it's pretty cool so uh, yeah this is what killzone shadowfall looks like on the PlayStation 4, there are quite a few uh, problems with like the servers and things going on right now, just because it's launch day, you know, of course that's going to happen, so I wasn't able to bring you guys a ton of gameplay, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. Uh, by the way, I did not put any color correction on this footage, I want you guys to see exactly what it looks like straight out of the box, so uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this is what kind of the PS4 has to offer at the moment, which like I said, is way better than anything we've ever seen up until this point. But, but, you know, over the next eight years before you get the next console, obviously it's only going to get a lot better. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Got a lot more PS4 videos coming later today throughout the week and for the rest of eternity, really. So, uh, make sure to check back. I posted a bunch already today. I've got more Battlefield, Call of Duty, all kinds of stuff coming this afternoon. So, make sure you guys check back. Thanks for watching. Your support is appreciated if you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.